Well, hello everyone. My name is NYC Artie. I'm going to give you a tour on how to get the best rendering quality video on YouTube. Yes, I have a new update from YouTube. I actually got this from Scorch on YouTube, so I'd like to thank him for this. So, if you have this video here when you set up the project properties to uh, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, it's the other film I ever when I did. So I'm using the same settings as before, but only this time the rendering quality is going to be this. So click on render as, go to custom. Uh, for video on the video tab, for any template, I have this new codec. It's called Xvid MPEG4 codec, and you can find this codec at xvid.org, and you can download it for free. And this codec will actually I found this codec to be the most useful codec because it renders like it takes like fit up to at least 50 percent to render and then for the rest of the time it's just it goes straight to 100 percent like that quick in like five seconds so this is like the quickest rendering video code codec on the internet I do believe but it's up to you guys if you want to download this thing I would recommend to download it and if you do get it, this screen will pop up uh, to configure your codec. And you want it to be at profile, at level, unrestricted, encoding type, single pass, target. Usually, when you have it, it will say it will be the original like this. You want to click on it, the box here, to say target bit rate. Probably at least uh, 3,000 for regular rendering settings for YouTube, but I usually keep it at 6,000. It's all right. Doesn't matter what you use. Uh, quality purpose is general purpose, and just press OK, and that's it. Pixel aspect ratio is 1.0, 1.0, and field order is none. Uh, frame rate is 29.970 NTSC, and then the regular settings 12V by 720, and then click and save your own templates, and video running is best. So that's one of the templates you can use, or you can use. I've downloaded another codec, which is called the DivX 6.8.5 codec. This one, uh, I you can find at DivX.com. Uh, I would highly recommend to get this codec if you like um, to render, you know, very good video quality videos. And this is what I recommend. I bought the DivX Pro, but uh, there on the website there's a community codec for free, so you can go buy and I bought the pro version because in the pro version there's an H.264 codec you can use and I heard that the H.264 codec is probably one of the best rendering settings on YouTube so if you want to go get it I would highly recommend to buy the DivX Pro it only costs like 20 bucks but I mean it was it was well worth the buy because when I rendered it the videos like are just amazing when I use this codec. Um, so if you have the Pro, this is what you need to set up. Uh, you want to set it up to 720 HD profile. You want the quality. Uh, it will be on check like that. But when you check it, you want the quality to be 10 and the bit rate to 3000. And the codec should be like this. The compression will be good, but the speed will be very slow. And then your video format in should be NTSC 16 by 9, and the format out should be 16 by 9. Custom resize 12 by 720, and everything else should be all set. And you just press OK, and that will be your codec. Basically, it will render actually pretty small, actually. Uh, when I rendered these videos, they actually come out to AVI, which is like at least two, 200 to 300 uh, megs per video size of rendering, which is extremely good because YouTube is very picky on uh, you know on how big your file size is. So it's great. So, but I have to give you one more tip. Uh, when you use the uh, Xvid, this one right here, the codec, uh, they uh, YouTube has a problem uploading Xvid codec videos because it, uh, the rendering files uh, the uh, the uh, file format uh, for uploading will be uh, it will be confusing for YouTube. I don't know. They have some bug problems with Xvid, 
So you can what I suggest doing is uh, render this in XVID, render this like any video in XVID, and then what you want to do is um, you want to have to download the DivX converter. This is what I highly recommend to download right here because this will come up and all you have to do is click view list and then you just press add and then you can add any I don't know any video you want and it'll come up with this uh, screen right here Halo Matchmaking AVI which is I already rendered it but you want the DivX plus HD but this also is called the H.264 codec which is under this format right here and my resolution is 1280 by 720 and then the frame rate is you know 29.970 frames per second and once it renders it will start rendering it will analyze the video first and then it will start rendering so uh... well see i don't really need to render it but i'll just let it render i guess or i can figure out a way not to but yeah oh well so that's how you render uh, that's an update from uh... that's an update from NYC Artie, um, if you guys have any questions about rendering or anything you want, anything that I want to put on here, let me know, and I'll get back to you later. Thanks for watching.